hear me now. <laughs> I was just over here bopping away. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Tower of God Sunday. We're here. We're like, why am I muted? Reasons that I don't need to get into. I can't hear it. Yeah, the whole, the whole time I was saying, one second, guys. One second. You couldn't you read my lips? Come on, man. But how long, how long have we spent together? You know what I'm saying? Like, how long have we been on this ride together, you and I? And you can't read my lips. Come, okay. We're gonna move on. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another Tower of God Sunday. Very excited to have you here. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't have the font done. So you know what would be fun? Doing the font live. I just now decided that we're gonna, we're gonna do the font live while I discuss Tower of God stuff, okay? Because I do have things to discuss, okay? So give me a moment while I pull up Photoshop and we're gonna do this live, okay? And you're going to witness how I create the fonts while we wait for the chapter. That's gonna be that. There we go. But yeah, hopefully y'all are doing well, having a fantastic evening. I'm very excited for this chapter. It seems like, again, uh, every week people are like, oh, the next chapter! But like, literally, it happened again. It happened again. So I'm excited. We're gonna, we're gonna have a good time. No font is okay. Well, we're gonna have we're going to have a font. We're just gonna do it together. You know what I mean? Streamer moment. We all have it. Streamer moments happen. Okay. And but you're right. It is a streamer moment for sure. I do have thoughts. I do have things I want to say. Okay. But yeah. But yeah. But yeah. What's going on? Casual hot pocket. Love the name. How's it going? Okay. I think it's time, and then I have something I want to discuss while I'm doing the font, okay? While we're waiting for some people to hop on in here. Alright, so as you can see here on the screen, this is the font from a few weeks ago. I still think it's one of our best. The, the effect that I have here is kind of amazing. We're gonna kill it, okay? That font is dead. It is no more. Okay. Now, I was trying to think, what do you guys think should be font themed for this week? Times New Roman? Bye. All right. See ya. <laughs> oh, did somebody spoil? Uh oh. Uh oh. Super creative. All right. So super creative means sloppy, right? So if we're going super creative, we gotta go like pink. Pink is super creative, right? The smile is the only thing. Okay. Oh, cat themed says new deodorant. Okay. So a creative cat themed font. How can we do it? Chapter. But instead of this. This right here is actually a cat, right? So the tail is gonna like wrap around and the cat is gonna be like right here with the face right here. Uh, give me a sec to change the color. Frick, okay, I'm on, I'm on fire right now. Boom. That's, those are the whiskers. Oh my God, it's a cat. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing cat gusting themed, okay? Okay, gusting themed. That means we switch to gray. Uh, chapter. Let's do this. What can what can I work with? How can we make this gusting? Um, I don't know. Oh, this he has a bunch of swords. Boom, the T turns into a sword. Okay, the T turns into a sword. Barbie themed? Nah, it's, we're not really Barbie themed. Okay, so chapter. Okay, what else have you guys said? Oh, Gustang symbol. Oh, right. It's kind of like uh, purplish. So let's go purple. Did I spell it right? <laughs> okay, I think I spelled it right. I think I spelled it right. Add the ears. <laughs> they look like devil hordes, but you know what? We're there. <laughs> REA themed. Okay, sure. REA themed. Let's go... White, six, oh, seven? Uh-oh, wait, I, I pivoted midway. Are we on 607? We're on 606, uh-oh. Um. <laughs> there we go, 606, baby, let's go. Cigarette, I don't know if I'm gonna do cigarette, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, well, you know what we could do is add like a bit of smoke, you know what I mean? 
some smoke off of the city this you know there we go perfect so now we have our theme right so now we add a stroke now now check it out dude this is where it comes together okay you all were doubting the font but this the the stroke is always what saves it now i'm wondering right if we should change the color make it red because of gusting nah black looks better yeah black looks the best for sure we're gonna keep it black then we emboss it i always do this okay inner okay depth we add some depth to the font perfect that's a clean font right bro we're done that's the font oh my god wait should we do this every week <laughs> people who are waiting for the chapter are gonna be like no <laughs> don't do this every week chapter 606 font we're cooking dude oh my god we're cooking okay we're gonna minimize this we're gonna add it over here hold on wait wait for it boom uh-oh <laughs> i forgot wait I, I gotta save it as a png uh-oh <laughs> that was anticlimactic okay give me a sec we're gonna go here save okay now it's good nope give me a sec okay this one nope this one yes dude that's a that's like the best font we've ever made wait that's like the best font we've ever made right that has to be the creativity the level of detail keep the white background i can't dude i can't keep the white background that will drive me crazy trauma right maybe next week we can do trauma right lauren says font is hideous damn okay well i guess we've got haters we're always gonna have haters you know what i mean we're always gonna have haters can't even see the cat anymore well pfft. okay you want to see the cat so bad boom there it is there it is there you go hell no you guys you guys you just don't see the vision it's go it's go it's goaded right come on man this is a good fight you haters no nah, i'm just messing lord <laughs> it's beautiful thank you max thank you Nudie Rant says the cat's kind of cursed, but other than that, very clean. Seven out of ten. I'll take a seven. I'll take a seven. It hurts to look at you. Got, whatever. Okay. I have a couple things I want to talk about. Uh, one of them being a little more serious. Okay. So people are filing in here. We're waiting for the chapter. And you guys may have seen, I made uh, a social media post and I posted in the community tab about spoilers. Okay. So I just want to kind of reiterate the mods are here any insinuation to future chapters right like oh my god the latest chapter had blank or oh my goodness he's talking about blank right all that stuff you're going to be insta banned okay insta banned there is a lot of excitement going on in the tower of god community right now and i want to be clear i've seen some i haven't seen images i've seen one image from a couple weeks ago but i already talked about that a couple weeks ago as far as like the recent chapters that are coming out, I've just seen people talking about it a bit, right? And then when I talked about, hey guys, let's keep spoilers to a minimum, right? People were like, oh, he's talking about this. He probably saw this. And it was, and so now that being said, I'm not gonna say what it was, obviously. That being said, I don't know exactly what is being shown, right? I don't know exactly what's gonna show up in the series. I just know the ballpark. I know it has to do with a certain topic, okay? So I'm aware of the topic and I know some some other kind of detail about it, but other than that, it's up in the air. It was on April Fool's Day, it was around that time too, and there was all kinds of things being thrown around. So I just wanna kind of reiterate that a lot of us are 12 weeks behind. If you don't know, it is illegal for us to stream or share panels or chapters that are not officially released yet so if you would like me to react to uh, a chapter other than the one today uh you are basically cool with not seeing my reactions so i want to throw that out there again maybe every time somebody asks i'll timestamp you to this point in the video i want to kind of reiterate cool cool okay now that being said i have one more thing i want to show okay one more thing i want to show now this is important now this this now this might be the most important thing we've ever talked about on this channel okay 
Let me see if I can show it here. Okay, yep. I can get rid of the filter, perhaps. Something like that. Hold on, give me a sec. There we go. Filter, gone. Okay, this right here, this is a short over on Amy's channel, okay? Let's let it play. Look at these little demons. If you're wondering what's meowing every time you, that I'm doing the reaction, it's these little demons, okay? So, if you want to go support this short and spread the good word of the cutest cats in the world, then head over to Amy Angel, okay? I'll put this in the description as well. And go support this short, okay? Because, who knows, maybe this, maybe we'll just start doing cat content, you know? Because they're freaking cute as hell. They're cute as hell. Okay. Disclaimer done. <laughs> Disclaimer done. That that was the important thing. Just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page about Chrono and Luca. You know? Felt like it was an important thing to figure out. Okay. Cool. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, we're going to do a very, very quick recap of the last chapter. And then we're going to react to the new one that just came out. Let me put this in the description if you want to go support this short. Cat shorts. Boom. And then save. All right, it's in the description if you want to go shout out the cat short. Okay. They're so cute, bro. Lopo be a kittens, hell yeah. All right, so last chapter, SIU was going crazy, okay? We began with Yama. Yama's a beast, okay? It was so satisfying seeing all the Yama haters. You know, all the Yama haters, all the people who thought he was weak, suddenly be super quiet last week and now some of you are gonna be like i still don't like it and that's fine okay you're wrong and that's okay yama's goaded always has been okay and also i still find it very funny that doom calls proust somewhere around here the most powerful light bearer it's weird translation definitely not right but there you go um, and then as we scroll down, we get to the Enkidu stuff. Gusting supposedly kills Enkidu. Enkidu thinks he big brains him, but Gusting just kills him, <laughs> right? So that's crazy. Uh, Rachel's all pissed, whatever, nobody cares. She's started text Gororo. Uh, Kun and Rack start fighting Dumas slash running away from Dumas. Um, shout out to Haku. I was watching Haku's reaction to all of this. Haku had a very funny take on Gororo, but um, <laughs> I gotta say though, Haku was talking about Rack here. And uh, it made me think, right? Rack kind of like tossing the, the, the item down on the ground here. I don't know if this is like important, right? Because I, I think it is. And SIU is clearly showing us like, hey, Rack just did a stupid. Which, let's be honest, is very in character. Like it'd be kind of, I feel like it'd be strange if Rack was like, I must protect this thing. Like Rack is an idiot, right? Always has been. Now, obviously, maybe more so than others. More so than other times, but still, I digress. And Dumas starts chasing Kuhn. Somehow doesn't catch up to him in half a second. And we get this moment where Kuhn is like, this guy's definitely not human. I find this funny, you know? It's like, look who's standing behind you. you know? I don't know. It's just a weird comment to be like, this guy's not human. It's like, yeah, he's a ranker. Like, I don't know. He's a high ranker. Like, what, what do you mean he's not human? I, I find it, I get what they're trying to say, but I just find it a little funny is all. And then, uh, Goro, you know, I just saw a comment that said, the bishop, I might butcher this, I don't play chess, maybe Hannah could pop it and correct me, the bishop is, like, the only piece, or a piece, I should say, that cannot, by itself, put the king in check, something like that, There's, it's a, by itself, it can't put the king in check, so Goro's lines here more accurately reflect his, uh, mental state and the way that he's kind of like viewing his own circumstances within the family and within revolution because sure the bishop is important but by itself what can it accomplish it can't do anything about its own fate found that very interesting i thought that was cool actually let me let me shout out who said that while i'm pulling up the next chapter and stuff and then he gets invited back into the discord server rachel's like hey you can come back and then enkidu's alive Freaking takes over Goro. Now, what's so funny is that Haku was like, dude, family head Goro coming right up. And and I I don't see it. I'm so, I don't see it, bro. I don't see it. Goro's just for sure just super dead. We have zombie Goro now, so that's cool. <laughs> but I thought that was entertaining for sure. Zombie Goro is now a part of the scene. 
Okay, let me find the, the comment here. I want to make sure credit where credit is due. Here we go. Uh, Revenant. Revenant Ronin. Shout out to you for the uh, bishop comment. The bishop can't checkmate when it's the only piece left. That's why Gororo said uh, fits him. He's not strong enough when it really counts. I thought that was really interesting. So there you go. It absolutely can. Okay. P. August. Chess. Chess major coming in. So the bishop can checkmate the king by itself. Goro became a blue lock character. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's so great. <laughs> you like looking at this panel, I know exact like you're a hundred percent correct. That's so funny. Okay, I'm I don't know the chess lingo. It can check but not check me. Well, there you go. That of course it can check. I'm not claiming it can't check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it can check. But it can't pin the king down. It can't really do anything by itself, right? It can't? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, guys, I think it's time. We have the beautiful font in the top right corner, and we're ready for chapter 606. Let's hop into things. We have a violence warning. Before we start, feel free to leave a like on the stream. If you're not convinced, we'll play a little game at the end, and uh, go support SIU's chapters, obviously. Leave those likes. With that said... Let's get reading. Let's do it. No spoilers, guys. I'm not really going to be reading chat much because, as I said earlier, these is some. it's hard being a Tower of God fan lately. Okay. Okay, violence warning. We're cutting to Dumas and Kuhn and Rack. My only idea is that somebody saves them, but who knows? Maybe Kuhn will big brain. Maybe Rack will, like, go crazy ancient mode or something. I'd be down for that. I doubt that's the answer. Is that turtle really human? We just read this part. At this point, I think it's safe to say he's not human. All right. All right. Let's see. Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> I love what he says. Dude, this guy, he's a big deal. And then he just freaking leaves Rack behind. Is Rack going to stay? You know, man, it was a good run. <laughs> I mean, Kuhn, you can't outrun Dumas. I mean, I guess he was outrunning you. Hold on. Rack Giga Chad, bro? Hold on. Rack looked at this dude and said, this guy's not human. Funny. And then started walking towards him as Kuhn started booking it. I respect it. We had a good run. GG Rack. F's in the chat for Rack. Looks like the turtle finally bites the dust after 606 chapters. It was a good run. I know Rack fans aren't going to like this. No, but seriously, like, <laughs> how in the world is SIU going to get a remedy this situation? Because I, I have no... Rack just one-shots him. Rack! Okay, what's he going to do? I'm not running anywhere. I'm going to fight. Thank God Rack got the white powers. Because <laughs> it's the only reason he's able to even, like, remotely survive in this kind of situation. Okay, dude... <laughs> I, okay, just, just just to set this up, we just saw Dumas go up against Traumarai. Now, obviously, not actually, actually, right? And Traumarai, like, ripped off his arms or whatever. Ripped off his arms. But he fought against and took out Vanquish, right? He's done an, an insane... He's accomplished so many feats. He took on Jinsung, Karaka, Yama, and Bomb at the same time, kind of. Dumas is insanely strong. Now, let's see what Rack does. I'm not running anywhere I'm gonna fight, okay? I'm like, like, what's gonna happen? That damn alligator. Sorry, I know. Maybe I'll get demonetized for saying damn. The hell is he talking about? Okay, Kud is freaking out. Tower of God, slay the chess pieces one. Dude, that would be an insane cliff. We gotta know what's going on with Rack. We do know. <gasps> I, th I thought this was Rack. It's his chicken foot. I thought Rack just got smushed. Dumas has a sick character design. I know he's goofy, but he's got a sick character design. Okay, he's charging in towards Rack. <laughs> What's gonna happen, dude? Boom! What just happened? Kuhn? Did Kuhn lighthouse... Oh my god. Did Kuhn just lighthouse teleport him out of there? He did. Oh my god. 
Rack almost just died. It's very impressive that Kuhn is able to do that so quickly, though. I gotta say. The fact that Kuhn insta-warped him out of there is kind of crazy. And also, like, we actually almost saw Rack just get smushed into a billion pieces. That's crazy. Okay, very good, Kuhn. What are you doing? Don't be a fool. You're talking to Rack, but okay. He kicks him, slam. Okay, now, guys, get running. Rack is just gonna turn around, though, isn't he? Oh my god, he's summoning the freaking spears. He's summoning the freaking weapons. Oh god. This is the thing that checkmated our group above the, uh, near the victor. <laughs> okay, here comes the attacks. Let go of me! He's just dragging him behind. It's so crazy to me that they haven't been caught by this guy. I can't. How are they alive right now? It's kind of insane. I want to fight! Let me go! Oh my god, and they're somehow dodging these attacks? I have no idea how. Something isn't... They addressed it! They addressed it! I was gonna say, it's starting, this is starting to get a little unbelievable, you know? Like, I, okay, maybe Kuhn outran him for like a second, right? Maybe he teleported him out of there. But the fact that he's missing all of these spear attacks is a little weird. So Kuhn says, something isn't right. That guy could kill us instantly if he wanted to. So why isn't he? Because he's pro-gusting. He doesn't want to kill these chests. Why would he, right? Is that what's going on? No. Why does he keep following us and avoid attacking us directly? He must be up to something. What the frick's going on, Dumas? Yeah, AA and Rack is always gold. It's it's always great. <laughs> These two are the best of friends, bro. Okay, this is this is way more interesting. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, this is Dumas. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and then Rack just starts chucking spears. Oh, uh, Rack is goaded. Hey, cut it out. Those two are the Irregulars' teammates. Okay. So Dumas knows that if Bomb's best friends get killed, Bomb might lose it. We saw, okay, we saw how crazy Bomb went when Prince and Arcraptor died, when he found out about their deaths. And I'm not trying to say that they don't matter to him, like, compared to Kun and Rack, but Kun and Rack are clearly the most, the two most important people in his lives, period. Just... There's no, there's no discussion that those two are the most important people in his life. I can't imagine what would happen if something happened to them. All I have to do is keep threatening them like this and chase after them. He just reflects Rack's spear. Okay, okay. If I do that, eventually, the Irregular will reveal himself. Oh, he's baiting Bomb. Okay. Okay, I respect it, Dumas. Thank you for not killing Rack and Coon. The series would have been would have been very different without Rack and Coon. All right, speak of the devil. Here comes Bomb, bro. Let's see what Bomb's up to. The queen. Bomb, the queen of the tower. Uh-oh. Okay, who who's he going to encounter? Wait a minute. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. I know who he's going to encounter. I... I will stake... What should I bet on this? I know who this is for sure. I've seen zero spoilers about any of this stuff. I know who this is for sure. What do I bet on this? My pride. <laughs> I will stake the pride of my channel if this is an enemy, right? Because if it's like Endorsey or something, this doesn't count. If this is a foe, it's Holen. One million percent. It is Holen without a doubt. It's faint, but I sense it. Something is vibrating. Is there a battle? Oh! He's sensing Rack and Coon. Okay. That didn't count. <laughs> Forget. Let's just delete the past 60 seconds from this stream. That didn't count. Okay, I, I clearly said, if this is an opponent, okay? Let's move on. The, the, my pride is still intact. All right, cool. It's far away. Okay, he's flying towards Rack and Coon, I assume. Swoosh, I'd better hurry, okay? 
Inside the Sprout, Coon and Rack side. This is a Coon and Rack chapter. I did not think this would be the case. Wow, okay. Let's go. Nah, my pride is still intact. My pride is still intact, dude. I, Claire, I made sure to specify. All right, they're still running away, escaping Dumas. I was right. He pretends to attack us while maintaining a certain distance and following us. I wonder, you know what's funny? This is actually very similar to Enkidu and Gustang. Because Enkidu called Gustang's bluff and was like, no, you can't kill me. You can torture me and stuff, but you can't kill me. But Gustang just roasted him. I wonder if Kuhn is going to do something similar where he's like, okay, he can't kill us. Let's use that to our advantage, you know? That's what Kuhn likes to do. This is my channel. Get the frick out of here, Heart of Starkness. Okay, okay. He's definitely up to something, and I know what he's after. My secret bag of Skittles! My M&Ms! Bomb. He's putting us in danger in the hope of making Bomb appear. Oh my god, seeing his little chicken foot grab Bomb. <laughs> Bomb's arms flapping. No! He wants to capture him! You already know, in 50 years, when this gets animated, we're gonna have a little... Doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, Bomb flailing around, a little cute animation. Damn it. Damn it. Whew. All right. Don't demonetize me, please. I really don't want to play along with his little game, but if, but we can't let him catch us either, so there's nothing else we can do right now. Okay. I guess he could still catch them, but he could... Couldn't he catch up to you? I don't know. We'll, let's just keep reading. That's Bomb. That's Bomb. Who's that? Watch it not be Bomb. It wasn't Bomb! Wait, it wasn't Bomb! Oh my god! Umtiti? No. No, Um... It's Wee Wee! Umtiti's the other guy. It's freaking Wee Wee! Oh my god, the Frosty Bear branch leader Wee Wee has arrived. Okay, I called that right. I was like, it seems a little soon for Bomb to show up. It actually wasn't Bomb. So I, I'm wondering if Kun and Rack will have to at least partially clash with Wee Wee. Or is Dumas just gonna one-shot Wee Wee? Is this a dead Wee Wee? I think we're gonna see a dead Wee Wee. Okay, that's the guy who was taken hostage earlier. The branch leader? <laughs> I wondered who was causing all this commotion. Just my luck. It's you, huh? Dumas. He knows Dumas? <laughs> this is great! <laughs> These two belong to the two families that are at war with each other. Dumas will want to fight the branch leader to steal his chess piece. And while they're fighting, we'll slip away. So that's what I thought. But now that Kuhn's saying it, I'm starting to think that's not what's going to happen. You can have my- <gasps> Are they turning on Traumarai? Wait a minute. What if the chess game between Traumarai and Gustang begins with Traumarai not having very many chess pieces, but he's because he's a chess master, he's still like, it's still a close match. That would be, that's a sick premise. But now I'm like, are they, tur they're turning on, he wasn't there for them. He doesn't care about, you can have my chess piece, Dumas. Huh? I mean, it also just spares his life, you know? I surrender. He was a rook. He was a rook. He was a rook like Rack. What? Take it. What are you talking about? You two are enemy. Kud's like so upset. <laughs> no, 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 no. You two hate each other, right? Remember that one time? You two are enemies. Why would you just hand over your chess piece? I realized something in that last battle. Trauma doesn't care about you. The Lopopia family's a lost cause. It's GG. It was a good run. 20,000 years. It was a good... We, we had a good time. It was a, it was a good run. I don't want to fight anymore. I was told to surrender when I joined this game anyway. I kind of respect it. Also, look at his weapon. It looks like a toy. <laughs> it looks like a kid's toy, but it's cool. It looks like it's made out of, like, you know, freaking... Uh, What's it called? Foam? You know? 
So he joined the game with the intention of betraying the Lopo family. Dude, Wee Wee's goaded. Wee Wee's goaded! I always knew I liked Wee Wee. Betraying the Lopo Bia family, shout out. What about the other branch leaders? Right, so are they all on the same wavelength? Are they all in this to betray Lopo Bia? What's going on? It doesn't matter to me whether or not you surrender. I'm not here for some silly game. <laughs> oh, Dumas is sick, bro. I only came here to serve my family leader. My goal is to capture the irregular. Okay. Let's go. Th then make sure to put in a good word. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, Wee Wee. I wee Wee, I liked you. For Dude, I, I was... <sighs> He looks, he looks, he looks horrible here. Duh, make sure to put in a good word for me with the family leader and tell him I helped you. All right, Wee Wee, come on, bro. You had my respect. You had my respect, and now you're acting like freaking uh, Chicken Man. Phoenix Chicken Man. Starts with a K. I can't remember his name. As long as you guarantee my safety in this war, I'll gladly help you catch the irregular. I hate that. As long as you guarantee... How could... It's a war, bro. Guarantee your safety? Come on, dude. Are you thinking of using those two as hostages to lure the array? He figured it out! I mean, to be fair, Dumas did just spell it out. So, he never mind. It's not that impressive. Shit, this isn't what I had in mind. Rack. What the frick is gonna... What the hell are they gonna do? Is Kuna about to flame firefish? Rack. There. What's. Wait, what's about to happen? If Bomb appears now, we'll only be a burden to him. So follow my lead, okay? We need to tear these two apart. At all cost. What? <laughs> Even Rack is like, the frick did you just say? Once we set- okay, he means split them apart. Dude, the way he worded that though, tear them apart. He means split them apart, but still. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Rack is like, the frick did you- oh, you meant- okay, that's what you meant. <laughs> Once we separate them from each other, we have to find the low Popia family leader. Because he can tear those two to pieces for real. How in the hell are they gonna... Okay, okay, okay. Teleportation stuff? I don't know. Listen, you two. It's all fine and dandy if you want to team up like this. But you seem to be overlooking something. What? I like his little, like, pe you know, the, the orange and green. You see this alligator here? What big brain play is about to happen? D does Kuhn know he left behind his piece? He's actually the king! <gasps> wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! They're gonna ask for proof! Can Rack freaking... Is Rack good at sculpting his rocks? What if he sculpts his little rock into a king? Wait, Rack is king! We all knew it! I joked about it! Rack is king, bro! What? Ch -ch -ch. The king? Hold on a second. We're gonna bow before King Rack. I love this. What's he talking about? Let's go. I mean, Rack, wait a minute. Rack is, oh my God, wait a minute, Never mind. Rack is gonna believe it. He doesn't know. Rack doesn't know. He, you know, Rack isn't gonna be like, oh, Kuhn is pretending. He's gonna be like, I'm the king. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, are you serious? Yep. So if you catch him, the leader of the Lopobia family that you're about to betray will win this game. And in that case, that means he may win the war as well. He, there's not much he can do, you know? I mean, they could capture Kuhn, but he can't take that risk. Maybe Dumas wouldn't care, though? What do you think would happen if he found out that you betrayed him like this? Wow, Kuhn! So he's splitting them apart, like, mentally. He's big-braining this. Oh my god, Wee Wee's about to get crushed by Dumas. Wouldn't it be better to take this guy to your family? Dumas? 
Listen, Wee Wee. <laughs> you are... If you're try, If he just starts fighting Dumas, that would be insane. He's so stupid if he does. You expect me to believe that. It doesn't matter if you believe me. The outcome of the game will speak for itself? Wait, what? Is he... <gasps> Is he bluffing? Go, alligator! He just chucked him off the freaking tree. Okay. Ah! The rack just starts falling. Damn it! Okay, see? He's buying it. Both him and Dumas are buying it. That's crazy. This is so fun. I love seeing Kuhn being surrounded by rankers and still finding a way out of it. It's really, really cool. Dumas? What does Dumas do? He looks at Kuhn. That little... He couldn't resist! <laughs> Let's go! Kuhn couldn't resist smirking, bro. He couldn't hold it in. I love it. He couldn't hold it back. He, he just started cracking a smile. That little bastard. Let's go. That's a sick shot of Kuhn. That's so sick, bro. Oh my god. That's so awesome. I love it. Kuhn cannot hold it back. He's lying. Let's go, dude. And Rack is falling. I'm falling! Okay. Wait, I just remembered something. I can fly. <laughs> He's gonna say I can fly. I can fly! Yep! And then suddenly, jump! Let's go! Rack actually using his head! He, you're a ranker now, Rack, for all intents and purposes. You can fly, bro! The callback to uh, Bomb vs. White. Let's go! <laughs> Uti, or Wee Wee's like, what? Stop right there, you little prick! Coon, ha ha ha, looking down. Okay, but now Dumas is freaking gonna kill you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Why didn't you go after him too? <laughs> Dumas is just staring at him like, oh, ooh, I'm gonna get you. Because I know you're lying. You got the multiple eyes. Coon, you smirked, bro. I, sorry, like... It's your own fault, bro. Too bad. You're more observant than I thought. Yeah, he's not freaking Wee Wee. Rack versus Wee Wee, though? Hold on. It's kind of hype. <laughs> I don't think he can fight Wee Wee, but if he can, that's... I don't know. I guess I don't have a choice. It's a bit risky, but I have to do it. Please. He's going to reveal his piece. The truth is... Take the bait. <gasps> I'm... Pobadow. He pulled out the queen. Wait. Yeah. Wait. No. That's the king. T Peace. We've talked about this. Kuhn is a pawn. Sorry. In my head, I was like, oh, Kuhn is the queen. He's pretending it's the king token. No, he's a pawn and he pulled out a king token. Man Barandina? What's going on? How did you do that? How'd you do that, Coon? What's going on, Coon? I'm Pobadow's king. Okay, this is risky. How the frick did he get one of these? I mean, that's the king token. It's a sick, detailed panel, bro. The king! Just in case, he freaking created one? That's right. I'm the one with Pobadao's real king. If I die or lose this piece, your family leader loses the game. Everybody could do this! Everybody could just say, I'm the king, and the game can't progress! I took out the chess piece I've been carrying around with me this whole time. If I die or lose the piece, Gustang loses. But earlier, hold on. Earlier he was like, Oh, if you catch Rack, Lopo Bia. Oh, I see. Oh, no, he's saying Lopo Bia will win and find out that you betrayed him. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did he do this? I took out the chess piece I've been carrying around with me this- From the game with Gustang! Wait a minute!
Kuhn, I didn't read chat. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> Kuhn played the game with Gustang. And kept the piece. That's a real piece that he kept with him this whole time. Wow. That's really cool. Especially since I feel like SIU zoomed in on this piece. On that token, a couple... You know, it's the king. The branch leader has never seen this game's chess pieces up close. You know what this means, right? And even if he has good vision and caught a glimpse of it, that's not the king. He can't tell what piece is the real king. Whoa, look at this panel! You have to protect me. Let's go, dude. That's hype. That's really cool. That's, that makes, if I was Dumas, I would, what? what? Oh, I, I assumed you played a game with Traumari earlier and kept the peak. No one does that. Only Kuhn, only Kuhn had this precaution in mind. He knew there was going to be some kind of chess thing later on. He kept this piece around. That's so freaking genius, bro. You have to protect me. Look at this dude. Coon doing coon things. You love to see it, bro. Oh, did I say Gustang? You guys know what I meant. I meant Traumarai. Yeah, I, I meant Traumarai. Sorry. I, I just assume Gustang is this, you know. I, I, I just can't stop thinking about my boy, you know. I meant Traumarai. My, my apologies. I can't believe I actually found a way to use that power to my advantage. If when Dumas finds out that he's a freaking pawn, I don't think he's gonna care about Ba. He's just gonna want to kill Kuhn. I never thought Dumas and Kuhn would have this like weird, you know, back and forth battle. It's crazy. And then we cut to these two. Hey, stop right there! Now, obviously, he's actually chasing him. So, power level-wise, you know, power scalers take notes. Because there's no way he's intentionally going slow. If Dumas... Dumas was, for sure, I would say. Damn it, I hate having to run away. It's not my style! Okay, Rock. Shout out to you, though. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, I... Sorry, WeeWee -wee fans. I underestimated WeeWee. -wee. I could easily kill that alligator if I wanted to. Man, Kuhn and Rack are really lucky to be Bob's friends. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the only reason they're in this situation is because they're Bob's friends, but you get my point. But I have to catch him alive no matter what. That's the only way to ensure that we win this game. I see. So he's trying to catch him. He's trying to catch him, but not kill him. I see. What? Oh my god, it's the freaking Chimera branch leader! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This is bad. Unless... What if she is still on Traumarai's side? And so she actually ends up going against Wee Wee. You know what I mean? There's like branch leader... Stuff. What the? Rashut! Oh my god. SIU just casually being like, Yeah, I'm dropping one of the sickest most gorgeous character designs in the series. She's just, like, one of the branch heads, you know? She's cool, but, like, she's just there for a couple chat. Like, dude, make her a, make her a main character. <laughs> sorry, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. But you gotta... This panel is, like, freaking gorgeous. Oh, my God. Rashut. Wee Wee. Rashut versus Wee Wee, bro. Is that what's gonna happen? Or are they gonna team up here? Also, I do like the theory that she's Angel's... Some kind of relative of Angel from Hell Train. Now, obviously, we know Angel's mother was um, non-family. But her dad was ten great families. So maybe Angel's dad was, like, her son or something. Could be a connection. Who knows? Because we know that Angel is a daughter of the great families, and she had wings like this. It's not that crazy, actually. Perfect timing. I need you to grab that alligator for me. Oh, okay. They're going to team up? What? Why? Are they on the same team? Rex like, oh god. <laughs> that alligator is Poe Bedow's king. Oh my god. 
Dude, Kuhn saying that one sentence is gonna butterfly effect this entire game. Oh my god, bro. Shit! I'm so not used to running away! Hey! Oh my god, this is so funny. And the, Rack is gonna have the entirety of the Lopobia family chasing after him. You're not going anywhere. Uh-oh, here comes blood powers. Rack? Alright, blood powers. Rock, use your rocks. Come on. She's going to catch me. Someone's gonna interrupt. Tiara? Bomb. Bomb. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I mean, Bomb was racing to catch up to all this stuff for a very long time. Bomb showing up to save Rack is, 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 is cool. Alright? Let's go. Let's go, dude. We're going to get Bomb versus two branch heads. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. I don't know. Because if you compare this, right? Also, gorgeous panel. Bomb just blowing apart the blood. If you compare this potential fight, Bomb versus two branch heads, to, like, Bomb versus Ren, I, I kind of wonder, like, which one would be arguably more difficult or which one, like, which opponent has the higher power level. Two branch leaders is kind of insane think about how how hard like it took like doom uh paul coon right like all these people to take down the windbird right the coco branch heads are a pretty big deal so like in the grand scheme of things i feel like the way we think of them now is like they're kind of fodder characters which is kind of crazy but we'll see we'll see sick bro siu's been on the roll with like drawing the lips you know, even Bomb's got the detailed lips in this panel. Shout out. He's using that chapstick. I respect it. Man, these tall panels are so cool. You know, like, the current, um... Like, the, the volumes of Tower of God that you can, like, buy the physical copies? In 150 years, when we hit the point where we have a physical copy of this... Dude, this is, like, such a tall panel. Like, they're gonna have to, like, squeeze this in. That's so crazy. That's him! Are you okay, Rack? The blood just splattering everywhere. Turtle! Let's freaking go, bro. Bomb and Rack, okay. The team up? It could be Bomb and Rack versus the Branch Heads. I didn't really consider Rack, but that's he's there, obviously. It's the Irregular. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! The Queen has arrived! Dude, Bomb looks so sick. Hey, Irregular, it's your fault we were dragged into this mess. Shut up. Come on, you've got some nerve showing up like this. Get the frick out of here, dude. Look at Rack just looking at Bob. He's so happy. He's so happy. Bob's got the thorn. Rush, shoot! This is our chance! What? The alligator with the king and the irregular are both extremely important in this war. We can capture both of them. So if Wee Wee catches Rack, he switches back to Lopobia side, is what I'm picking up on. Both of them? Is that really necessary? Think about it. This could decide our fate in this game. In fact, not only in the game, but in the war as well. We can use those two as bargaining chips and get a good deal for ourselves. Oh my, he's thinking about himself. This would give us enormous power. Oh god. We might... <sighs> Wee Wee, you're losing me, bro. You're losing me. We might even be more powerful than Keating. Shut the frick up, bro. Just imagine the sight of both fam- This might be the most delusional character in the series, bro. First of all, to be like, oh, the Irregular, let's take him. And second, to be like, let's have both families bow to us. Sorry? <laughs> Like, what world are you living in, bro? Oh my god, Wee Wee. <laughs> this guy is, is the biggest copium I've ever seen. Hmm, I must say, and Rashut just eats it up. That does sound rather tempting. Just like, just, like grandma, like granddaughter, you know? It's canon in my mind. Like granddaughter, like grandma. Let's go. Grandma Rashut. That does sound rather tempting. Damn, these panels are so cool. What is the necklace here? The gleam? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's a sick panel. That's badass, dude. Hold on. This is so cool. Okay, we got the blood. The electricity. 
Oh my god, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Bomb and rack. Let's freaking go, dude. Is that how it ends? Wow. Wow, dude. That was really cool. That was a cool chapter. I did not think it would be all on Kuhn and Rack. I liked it, though. I feel like we haven't had an entire chapter about Kuhn or Rack in maybe, like, years. <laughs> you know? It's been a very long time. Um, that was really, really fun. Really, really fun. I feel it's believable. You know, like, at first I was like, man, really? Like... Is he really trying to kill them? He's not. He's trying to use them. Makes sense, you know, what point... He doesn't care about killing chess pieces, you know? That's not his his order from Gustang. And then you have Wee Wee, you know, Kuhn with the mind games. He saved the chess piece from his previous game, dude. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. This was a really fun chapter. I really liked it. And also hyping up, like, what, Bomb and Rack versus Wee Wee and Rashut? I never saw this coming, but I think it could be really, really cool. You know? And, and the fact that, like... They're both really strong, but also, like, believably able to be beaten by Bomb. Especially if Rack is there. You know, Rack is, like, ranker-ish level, we would assume. And has, like, ancient powers, and has the ancient spear, and, like, I don't know. I feel like it's it's cool. We saw Bomb and Rack team up earlier against Holin briefly when trying to escape Holin and Tiara and that whole thing. I feel like this could be really, really cool. Now, obviously, it could be interrupted, but that'd be kind of disappointing. So, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Who do we ship Enki do with? I'm not answering that. <laughs> I'm not answering that. We have some super chats here that I'll read out. And then we'll end the stream. Really, really fun chapter. P. August, thank you for the two super chats. Legend. Uh, by the way, I just noticed the damage to Dumas' arms are taking longer to heal from Traumarize attack compared to Jin Sung destroying his whole body. Really good point. You know, he hasn't regenerated his arms. And at first I thought he was just, I don't know. For fun, you know, not not regenerating his arm. Clearly, he can't, or he would. So it's like, ah, the, the poison dragon or the family head is, like, the reason. That's really cool. Uh, and another super chat here, Wee Wee wants Gustang to bow. Gustang, who killed Enkidu without a thought because he didn't like his tone. Sounds like it'll end well. Yeah, like, they're acting like, oh, the irregular and the king will, allow, will, will make them bow? Like... I don't think Gustang, like, they want Bomb, but they're not gonna, like, bow to you for Bomb. You know, I don't think they want Bomb that bad. Well, maybe Gustang, now that I think about, I mean, Gustang, his only way of knowing the truth now is Bomb. Every other source is gone, and it's his fault, let's be honest. I mean, Enkidu's still alive, but, you know. Oh my god, chat, you were just, okay, I'm not reading chat, you guys are on another, you guys are crazy, <laughs> you guys are crazy, you guys are insane, alright, really fun chapter, let's play some rock, paper, scissors, and then we will wrap up the stream, I'm planning on making a video this week, so look forward to that, I'm gonna be talking about some lore stuff, hopefully, I haven't decided yet, but, you know, I'm trying to make more videos, so that'll be fun, if you lose, you gotta like the stream. If you win, I'll shout you out. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, I gotta think. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I gotta go rock, dude. I gotta go rock because, frick. All right, shout out, Lord. Immediately lost, oh my God, what is this? What is, wh what is this on screen? Lord, Don, Zyre, Han, Q, Michael, Jose. Okay, now we have... Okay, I'm tying with some people. Sunflower. I beat light. You know what? It's a good day. It's a good day. Yurik you. Oh, uh, let's go. All right. I beat a couple of you. Wow, that was embarrassing on my part, though. God damn. 99, Forest. It was immediately, too. It's not even like it was... Oh, they responded to me? Like, I have said rock, and then the papers just started flooding my screen. What is going on? I picked rock. A lazy hibiscus shout out. I picked and then happy birthday to you, May. Shout out. I picked rock because of the the chess pieces and rock. I freaking Yurik you. You you freaking you Oh god, you guys are Oh god, you guys know <laughs> you, you guys know me too well. What is happening? Rock was too obvious. Light that you you got I, I think about the chapter and I pick one, you know? Same thing last time. Listen, 
<laughs> I don't change. I don't change. This is super fun. Thanks all for watching. Shout out to you. Go support SIU. Go support the, the cat short if you like cat's content. I don't know. Maybe Amy will make more. And I'll see you guys later. Ta-ta. Take care. Bye-bye.